Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. You are listening to The Daily Dog with your host, Michelle Forto. The Daily Dog offers training advice, tips and tricks, and maybe even a book or movie review, too. Hello and welcome to Dog Works Radio. This is Michelle and I am the lead trainer of Alaska Dog Works, where we train service, therapy, obedience, and more. Have you heard about the new Adventure Dog Club? Would you like to learn more about trails, leave no trace, camping, or even how to care for your canine buddy when you're out on an adventure? That is what our Adventure Club is all about. Plus some awesome patches you can show off and brag to your friends about how cool you and your canine buddy are. This program is scheduled to launch on July 1st, which is in just a few days. We hope you take a look at it on our social media pages. Have you ever tried to play a game with your dog and found it to be a little bit difficult? Or did you find it to be super easy? Today I'm going to discuss games to play with your dog. Your dog wants to play games with you, make no bones about it. And while dogs at play can look like dogs at war, chasing, tugging, and mouthing are all normal for them. Completely discouraging these intuitive behaviors in your dog makes for a very frustrated canine. Fun, active dog games are excellent for him when the play is controlled, and that is the key. The human always starts the game, the human always ends the game. When I'm out training with clients, I call this shoots and ladders. When your dog understands this important rule, he will benefit from years of active, safe playtime with his beloved human and other companions. The best dog games, fetch, chase, and retrieve. This is a wonderful classic dog game, but don't allow it to become tug of war with the ball or toy. Make sure your dog knows a release command and walk away from the game if he refuses to surrender the object. Hide and seek with toys. Hiding a dog toy in your house and tasking your dog with finding it is an intellectually stimulating game for him and a superb rainy day activity. It's easiest with two people where one holds the dog while the other hides the toy. Then toss the toy for the dog as a reward when he finds it. If your dog is unaccustomed to finding and bringing you his toy, begin with a simple exercise where you place the toy very close to him and say find it and praise him when he goes near it, even if he does not pick it up. Continue like this, treating him when he picks up the toy. Then praise him when he brings it to you and trade the toy for a treat. Place it further and further from him until you can take it to another room and hide it. This is also an excellent training tool for a dog who is reluctant to surrender a toy that has been thrown for him. Hide and seek with you. If your dog is competent with stay, you can play this without a second person. Give him the command and then go hide in another room. Call his name and praise him for finding you. After a few repetitions, hide in more challenging places and reward him with a toy or treat or a game of tug of war when he finds you. Or play with two people. Have one person stay with the dog while you hide. When he is looking for you, the other person can hide and call him. Repeat this game only a few times so he does not lose interest. Find the treat. Take several opaque plastic cups, hide a treat under one, and ask your dog to find it. Increase the number of cups and distribute them over a wider area to make the game more challenging. Agility course. This is an excellent game to play in a family with children. Set up low bars, high bars, and tunnels using dowels, books, chairs, large open-ended boxes, or other sturdy containers, portable stairs, and hula hoops. Ask the dog to follow along as your child navigates the obstacle course, stepping over low bars, crouching under high ones. Placed high enough, the dog does not attempt to jump over them and crawling through the boxes. Alternately, hide treats throughout the course in 
tough to find spots and rub the scent of the food in various places to encourage your dog to find his way to the treat. This game can be played outdoors or inside on a rainy day. It gets everyone involved and intellectually stimulates the canine in your crowd. Silly Pet Tricks Encourage your dog to lift his paw and shake by holding a treat very close to his muzzle in your fisted hand. He will smell the treat in your hand and instinctively lift his paw to try to get it. Practice with both the right and the left paw. You can do the same when he is in a down stay, placing the treat near his nose and then raising it around and over the back of his head to encourage him to roll over or onto his back. These fun dog games also have a practical application for ease of grooming and present an excellent opportunity for positive interaction between a child and his dog. Tug of War When strict rules of play are observed, this can be an excellent game and calming tool. Be sure to use a tug toy long enough that your dog can grab his end without coming into its contact with your hand. You always initiate the game, never your dog, and you should always be able to win a game of tug of war with your dog, meaning get him to release the tug toy and sit on command. Win the game at least once for every 30 seconds of play. Also, mix in short training breaks between games where you practice other commands. Restart the game as a reward. Make sure anyone else who plays tug of war with your dog understands these rules and these important tug of war caveats. If he puts his teeth on you, walk away. Wait 30 seconds. Return, ask him to sit, and then practice taking away and giving back the toy a few times before you resume. If he takes the toy before you tell him to, give him a 30-second timeout. Then ask him to sit and offer him the toy again. If he messes up three times in a row, game over. In most cases, tug of war should be avoided between a dog and a child. Games to avoid. These games reinforce undesirable dog behaviors and should be avoided. Chasing games. Wrestling. Jumping up for food or toys is considered teasing. Nibbling or tugging on socks, toes, or fingers. Endearing though it may seem, this behavior should be discouraged in your puppy to prevent mouthing as an adolescent or adult. Tug of war, unless strict rules are observed during play, as outlined above, is considered a game to be avoided. Healthy, active games with your dog are not only fun, they're essential. He needs playtime with you and with other dogs to exercise his natural instincts, to stimulate his intellect and develop social skills, and to release the bottled up energy that is part of and parcel of living among humans. He wants nothing more earnestly than your time and affection. What better way to show him your love than engaging him with fun dog games? I hope you appreciated the tips and tricks that we offered on today's show. If you'd like more information, please visit us on social media and give us a like. From Dog Works Radio, this is The Daily Dog. We hope you enjoyed this podcast, and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art, and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe, too. Your host is Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto. Created for Dog Works Radio. Did you know that Alaska Dog Works trains service dogs for those in need throughout North America? Each and every service dog that is trained through the Lead Dog Service Dog Program and Michelle Forda Winner Team has an individual training plan. We train for autistic, mobility, psychiatric, and PTSD for our soldiers for service work. If you know of someone that may need a service dog, please take a moment and check out Alaska Dog Works on social media and at alaskadogworks.com.